Welcome to NetLinked Weekly. There's an all new set and we're bringing back a special guest co-host that was with us last week. But first of all, there's the NCIX back to school sweepstakes. No purchase is necessary, although it is encouraged that you buy things because for every $10 you spend, you will get an additional entry. You can also get an extra entry for liking NCIX on Facebook. So that is encouraged as well. It's the back to school sale event and we've got a few deals this week. Two Canadian deals and two US deals. We're going to be focusing on the very hottest, hottest deals. This sale is running until August 14th. So first things first, in Canada, you can get a 7970 Double D for $320. The rumors are running rampant about Codename Hawaii GPUs coming. So I think we're starting to see some pretty aggressive pricing on the 7000 series GPUs in order to get those moving and make room for the new stuff. So that's a, it's a very good time to buy a GPU. Next up, we've got the Lenovo IdeaPad Core i5 Nope book Lenovo is now a powerhouse PC maker so you can get on in on the action for only $839.99 and that's it for the Canadian deals this week US deals check this out $719.99 for an XFX Radeon 7990 with the new fixed frame pacing driver from AMD this is a serious powerhouse of a card arguably the fastest one available and it's significantly below AMD's suggested retail retail price of $799.99. So definitely check that out. We've also got the Fractal Design Define XL R2 Titanium for only $89. It's got a ton of space in it, liquid cooling flexibility, air cooling flexibility, and of course, nice, quiet operation. And now, joining us for the news. Hey guys. It's Jack, Jack. The uh, reception was pretty positive on your Unpacked with Jack video. Do you want to talk about that a little bit or is it sort of are your feelings sort of? It's to be expected. It's to be expected? It's to be expected. Uh, you were doing some pretty good impressions of some of the comments before, uh, before we filmed here, so. You want to see them? Yeah, let's, let's right. I, I, wanna, I wanna see them. This guy looks like Fire Engine Boss from Park Hard 3. <laughs> Uh, that was your favorite, right? That was my favorite. You know what? The reality of it is, guys, comments on YouTube, um, there's been, oh man, there's been probably tens of thousands of negative comments about how my voice is annoying, or I'm short, or I my earrings are ugly, or whatever else. And the reality of it is, us YouTube guys, you know what? Bring it on. We do read the comments. We do take your feedback. But come on, guys. It's not like uh, it's not like Jack's gonna go away because uh, you know one video wasn't perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could nope. go. You could go away. It's I not could, gonna happen, is no. it? All right. So let's move on to the news. Amazon is talking about an Android-based game console. So this would be going up against the Ouya. For, uh, that was launched recently for $99. So this is going to be a thing. Yep. I mean, you've got gamers running around saying Ouya is a flop, which it kind of is, but <laughs> whatever. Yeah. And you got gamers running around saying Nvidia Shield's going to be a flop, which I'll be surprised if it is, yeah. given the muscle of Nvidia and how, I mean, when's the last time they failed at something? You got me there. Um, so, I mean, I'll be interested to see if Amazon's throwing their hat into the ring. We could be looking at a whole new category of devices that is just based on Android. Speaking of the NVIDIA Shield, the NVIDIA has decided that they are going to actually make the operating system open sourced. So they are actually encouraging developers to fiddle around with all the open source and whatnot. They're calling the project Develop for Shield. Which is really cool because if you see, if you've seen already on my personal channel, we did what we call the Ghetto Shield using splash top and like a piece of metal attached to an Xbox 360 controller. What Nvidia looks, like, what it looks like they're enabling here is other Android developers or even device makers to take the technology that they've built with Shield, and. Let them run with it. Let them run with yeah. it, which I think is really cool. So if you want the NVIDIA experience for 300 bucks, which I actually don't think is a terrible value, you get a Tegra 4, you get a massive battery life, you get a reasonable screen, 720p. Some people will feel strongly one way or the other about it. Yep. Um, or it looks like we're going to have other options. Yep which is very, very cool. Speaking of other options, you could watch either uh, Blizzard's tournament this weekend, or you could watch the International. And I think most people were going sort of that second route. Yeah, the Dota 2 Championship down in Seattle. 
Uh, 16 teams, I think, are going head-to-head -to, -head to find out who's going to be the best of the best of the best of... Well, you get the picture. Of the best. Diesel the Intern was tuned into one of the live streams the other day. It had something ridiculous, like 150,000 concurrent live viewers. And uh, meanwhile, the competing StarCraft streams were sitting, what, around six or 9,000 at the time? I think it climbed up to around 15,000. Climbed up around 15,000. It goes to show you that when it comes to competition, going up against Valve just sucks. No matter what it is, it's like speaking of companies that haven't managed to fail at anything in the recent future, in the recent past, or probably the coming future. Valve is just so incredibly smart. Well, I'm on a roll for segues. Speaking <laughs> of incredibly smart, IBM is building a brain-like computer. So this is building on previous. So meow, you know. But, yeah, they planted a chip or emulated a cat's brain on a chip. So they've done that before. Yeah. But now. 2 billion neurosynapses, and it looks like they're getting closer to building something that can actually think like a person. What if we could replace you with a Terminator robot? I'd get more views. You'd probably get more views. Yeah. Guys, leave a comment. Should we just replace Jack outright with a T-1000? That's the best idea I've ever had. Yes. Speaking of the best idea ever, Samsung. <laughs> yes! Segway maniac. All right, okay, I'll, I'll let you do this one. Samsung has started mass producing a brand new vertical NAND flash. It's actually 3D, so it stacks on top of each other, making... Do you have to um, wear special glasses to use it? I hope not. Yeah, I hope not. I don't know you don't. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I think they're doing something crazy like stacking 24 layers of 16 gig uh, chips on top of each other for a total of a whopping 384 gigs of total storage space. This is definitely a game changer. I mean... We've, you've mentioned before in previous Netlink weeklies where this is technology where it hasn't been started being produced yet, but this is the first time we've seen where it's mass been production. Mass yeah, so exciting. Finally, I can get all those Instagram photos of my food on, the, on one device. The thing that's hilarious to me about it is that iPad 1 was available in a whopping three capacities, I think 16, 32, and 64. 64 yeah iPad, whatever we're on to now, is available in a whopping three capacities. 16, 32, and 60. Come on! It's about time! It's about time that we get more storage on these devices. So this is incredibly exciting. Speaking of exciting, we are excited to read your comments. Let us know under the video how much you loved or hated this week's episode of Netlinked Weekly, which we will read and then cry ourselves to sleep at night. In the fetal position. In the fetal position. It's the very best position it is. for all kinds of things.